Okay, I'm back out here in my shop this morning, and I'm going today. I'm going to be working on building a drum sander. Uh, I've needed something like that for a long time. I don't have a planer. Uh, I don't have any way to really uh, get boards down to the right thickness. So I'm going to build a, uh, a drum sander, uh, kind of similar to maybe some of them you've seen on YouTube, but it, I think mine is going to be probably a little different. Uh, my plan is to uh, utilize some parts that I got from a treadmill. Uh, I'm going to try to use the motor and I'm going to try to use the, the base that was under the, the treadmill uh, belt and uh, cut it down and, and use it as the table. It's got like a real slick, uh, looks like black melamine or something on it. So I think that will work well. But mine is going to be different because I'm going to try to uh, utilize a scissor lift uh, type mechanism to raise and lower it so as the table raises and lowers it will stay even instead of uh, tilting either uphill or downhill whichever way you're looking at. Um, so anyway I'm going to try to do that. I've got some scrap MDF, uh, three quarter MDF that I'm going to use uh, for my uh, to cut my drums and I'm going to probably won't be shooting a lot of video of, of some of this stuff while it's going on because it's going to be really noisy in here. I'm going to use my CNC router to cut the 5 inch uh, circles for my drum. I'm going to make my drum about 18 inches uh, so that means I've got to have 24 of those circles so that, th that means that thing's going to be running a while and, and uh, it's going to be really noisy in here but while that's going on I'm going to be over here at the table saw uh, cutting the, uh, the table frame and this is actually the, the drawing I had for my router table and I'm going to build this frame exactly the same way so I just kind of printed out the drawings I had for my router table and marked them up because the dimensions are going to change a little bit and then once I get this all done I'll have uh, some plans, free plans of course uh, on the website for anybody who wants to try to build one like, like I'm going to build. So. Anyway, I'm ready to get started, and I'm going to turn the camera off for a while because it's going to get really noisy in here uh, while that uh, CNC router is running. So I'll turn it back on when i got something else to show you. Okay, I've been out here working at the table saw, uh, cutting up these uh, the table frame parts at the same time as the CNC router's been running the, uh, the disc. You can see I've got enough of these pieces of, uh, this is some scrap 3 quarter MDF. And I just used my router there to nest these in here. So I've got, uh, I don't know, 25, 26. I'm probably going to use about 24 of them, make it about 18 inches worth of a drum. Uh, but anyway, I've just got to finish cutting these out with a bandsaw. As you can see, probably there's some tabs that hold these in there so they don't go flinging out. So I can run that kind of unattended. And while I, that was running, I cut all my parts. Here you can see, uh, you know, I've got some half lap joints. Uh, here's some uh, uh, tenons that I cut on the end of these pieces. And then the legs, uh, they're going to have a, right here where I've marked the center point, there will be a uh, mortise there for some of these uh, support pieces. And then I've got uh, some half lap joints here. Uh, and what I did here, and the only thing you have to really be careful about is when you're making these table legs, uh, as you can see, there are rights and lefts. So you just have to pay attention and make sure you don't, uh, don't cut them all the same way. So but what I'm going to do next is, uh, and I thought I'd try to show a little bit of it. I've got, uh, the way I do my mortises, uh, you can call it a lazy man's way, I guess. I use my CNC router and just make a little mortise uh, program and then cut each one using that. So I'm going I'm to show you that right now. Okay, I got one set up here ready to put the uh, mortise in. You can see I've got my uh, center point right there and I've just got a little program uh, where it's going to cut the mortise in. So I'll get fire this up and uh, show you that a little bit.
to knock the fuzzies off of this, it looks like, because apparently my bit's uh, pretty dull. I need to change that out. But anyway, there's uh, the mortise, and you'll see it here and again. I'll put, put the sander on it and get rid of those fuzzies. Okay, here's a shot at how that uh, CNC, you can see I put, I use a quarter inch uh, straight cutter in there and I just use the peck drill command and put these uh, holes in a corner and then that way, like I said, I'm kind of a, a, the lazy man's way of doing a mortise. That way I can leave these uh, mortises squared off and that gives that corner some place to go. And the good thing is, is after you knock this in, you're not going to see those you're not going to see where those holes are anyway. It's going to glue up and it's going to look, but it's, you know, for somebody who's got a CNC, it's a whole lot easier way of doing the mortise than to have to spend time chiseling out the corners and stuff like that. So that's my lazy way of, of doing that. Okay, I've got all the, uh, all the frame, the table frame uh, put together and glued up and, and clamped. And uh, I think I'm going to let it set overnight. We'll call it a day today and come back out again tomorrow and work on the, the table part with the uh, scissor lift and all that. And I've got all the, uh, got all my MDF. I rounded off the tabs and I thought, well, I'll glue these up and uh, in maybe groups of six and let them dry overnight. And then I realized I've used all my clamps on this thing. I don't have a whole lot of clamps. so. Uh, I'll just wait and do that in the morning, uh, first thing, and then I'll, uh, they can be drying while I work on the table. So that's going to be it for today. Uh, I'll see you in the morning. Okay, I thought I would do a quick update here uh, on this uh, drum sander build. Uh, sometimes in woodworking, everything that you draw up looks really great on paper, but it doesn't really work that well uh, in practice, uh, and this is one of those cases. I've, uh, you know, my plan was, you can, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I made like a scissor lift type thing, which would raise and lower this table, uh, you know, level as it raises up. And I wanted to be able to have like four inches of travel. In other words, when this thing was all the way down on the base, uh, you'd be able to run something four inches thick uh, on the sander, and then you would raise it up as you go to make it thinner. Uh, the problem with that is it raises up pretty well, but the problem is uh, it's, it's just too wobbly because you have to leave things a little bit loose to get it to to move like a scissor. And doing it in wood and all, it's just uh, it's just not practical. So uh, before I waste any more time on this, I'm going to scrap that plan and I go back to uh, what I thought about in the first place, which many other people have done. I've got a couple of uh, I don't know, these are about six inches or so, I guess, piano hinges. And I'll just put these piano hinges on this end and then put a uh, threaded rod on the other side that will raise raise this end up to uh, make the uh, make it closer to the roller. You know, it'll be at a tilt like, like you know, that's what I was trying to not do, but uh, I just found that this, this isn't working out very well and, and I don't want, really want to spend any more time on it. And, I know the other way is a tried and true method, so just wanted to give you a quick update on that. And you can see I've got my roller here uh, all made. I've got to cut the shaft down, and I've still got to make the sides and put the bearings in and uh, get the parts of the treadmill, the motor, and all that, and get that all hooked up. So, but that's going to be it for uh, that's going to be it for this time. Uh, thanks uh, for all my new subscribers. And I appreciate you watching my videos. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. Uh, you'll see new videos uh, every couple of weeks or so. And as always, uh, you know anything I draw up with plans, I, I offer the plans for free on my website. So feel free to check that out and uh, down, download some free plans of different things. And we'll talk to you next time.